So we, here we have a video on using the cursors to measure voltage. This is a typical Hall effect switch and if we look at our scale here we're at uh, one volt and two milliseconds. So if we just used our graticals we could measure the voltage. We had, let's see, one, two, three, four, five. So it's a five volt signal. But if this was something that we needed to measure the voltage precisely, what we can do is we'll stop the video, clear the menu, and go ahead and press our cursor button. Well, it looks like our button is, our cursors are set up to measure time. So we'll change that over to voltage. We can see our cursors are going up and down now. We're highlighted here on the upper cursor. We're going to move that up to the top of our pattern here. And then we're going to highlight the bottom cursor. And after you do these a few times, it gets really easy to use the cursors. So we're at the A line. We can see the little rectangular box here. That means it's the zero voltage line for channel A. And we're at the top of the pattern here. And then our voltage comes up on the screen at 5.04 volts. This would be a typical reference voltage you'd see a lot. Of course, uh, many manufacturers have used different voltages that they switch on and off with a Hall effect switch. I've seen lately that Chevrolet has been going away from 5 and going up to either battery voltage or a fixed 12 volt. The uh, Dodges and the and Jeeps used to use a 9 volt reference so you have to look in the book see what kind of reference voltage we're dealing with on these sensors and that'll give us an idea of how to set our channel A voltage scale of course if this pattern was going up to the top here all the way up on either side and we couldn't see the top cutoff points we'd know that our voltage was set too low and we'd have to probably go to 2 volts per division. Uh, if you wanted to look at the ground side switch of this, we could actually hit the zoom button and try to zoom in on it. And then we can try to measure that. That's hard to do unless we have a higher zoom feature, but we'll highlight the upper cursor here. and try to move this down to about where the switch started. That's pretty close. It's sort of hard to see, but we have the cursors almost exactly even with each other, and we can see that we have a 80 millivolt switch. So that's our difference between ground and where it's switched at and anything underneath 100 millivolts is really good. The computer will see a switch at around 250 millivolts or less. A good way to test these sensors is to freeze, is to have the engine off, disable the ignition system so the engine doesn't start, and then move the a window in front of the Hall effect switch because when it moves in front of the Hall effect switch the voltage goes to zero when it's away it goes up and then when you have it right here it would be showing just straight across on the A line there would be no switch is to go ahead and tap on the sensor or the bracket that it's on not too hard of course and you can watch for glitches in the sensor and that's usually when they fail is when they're pulled to ground and it's sort of a neat trick and plus it'll give you a good idea of how close it is getting to ground. Just a couple tricks I've learned over the years and from different mechanics telling me how to check things. 
we'll uh, continue on with our second video on measuring voltage signals and uh, we'll be back in just a few minutes.